Between 1926 to 1932, James R. Montgomery had a problem with his rubber plantation. The problem? Big crocodiles. How big? Well, he claimed to have shot crocs over 6 meters or 20 feet in an attempt to protect locals who did laundry by the river. Now 20 feet is big, but it's not the biggest salty he dealt with. There was another infamous massive crocodile that locals called the father of the devil and they apparently threw silver coins into the water in hopes of appeasing this colossal reptile. So how big was this fella? According to James, over 30 feet. In fact, 32 feet 10 inches or about 10 meters. Now some sources will say he netted and killed the croc and then examined it. Others say he measured a bank the croc was on and the bank was 30 feet and the crocodile was bigger than the bank so it would have been about 33 or 32 feet. But we don't have any remains or photos or anything substantial to work with. So maybe 30 feet is a bit suspect. Though we do have other 30 footers. There was a croc shot in the Bay of Bengal that was reported at 10.1 meters or 33 feet 2 inches and with a body mass estimated at 3000 kilos or 6600 pounds. So if it was shot, do we have remains to examine? Yep, actually we do, we have a skull. But the skull was only 66.5 centimeters or 2 feet 2 and a quarter inches, meaning the total length of the animal was probably somewhere around 19 to 20 feet. I say only, but that's still a pretty massive animal. So we don't have anything substantial for 30 feet, but what about a 28 foot 4 inch or 8.6 meter salty known as the Savannah King? Now you'll often see this photo connected to Chris, the Savannah King, but as I mentioned on the Shorts channel, though this photo is real, it's a different crocodile. This photo isn't Chris. It's another crocodile from 1914 that was shot in the Northern Territory. And although this crocodile looks big, it probably is pretty big, we are still looking at a forced perspective shot making it look bigger than it actually is. The real Chris is from 1957 when a woman named Christina Powalski shot a crocodile in Australia that was reported to be 28 feet long. The dead croc was named Chris after Christina Thing is, there isn't any verified measurement or remains of Chris, so hard to say if he was really that big. There is a replica of Chris. Well, a replica. But that's just based on the claims rather than anything substantial. So look, salties are big. When it comes to living reptiles, you don't get bigger than the saltwater crocodile. Though rivaled in length by big snakes, for example big pythons, when it comes to overall mass, the salties take the crown and they reside in remote waters of Northern Australia, India, and Southeast Asia. But if we want to say how big, I think we need to have evidence to back up any size claim. So let's look at the biggest measured saltwater crocodiles. Well, the title of largest wild caught crocodile goes to Lolong, who was caught in the Philippines in 2011. Lolong was the largest crocodile in captivity at a length of 6.17 meters, 20.24 feet, and weighed 1,075 kilos, or 2,370 pounds. And Lo Long was originally captured because he was suspected of man-eating, but I don't know if it was ever 100% proven that he was the offending croc or not. Lo Long died in 2013, which would make Cassius the largest crocodile in captivity now, at a length of 5.48 meters, or 18 feet and he weighs approximately 1300 kilos or 2,870 pounds. So possibly a bit chunkier than Lo Long, although I guess this is an approximate estimate, so maybe he doesn't weigh quite that much. But back to Lo Long. Is this the max size for a salty? Hmm, doubtful. There is a research article from 2012 titled, Here Be a Dragon, Exceptional Size in a Saltwater Crocodile, and it states, it is improbable that Lo Long is the largest sea porosis ever found. It is disappointing that the evidence for larger specimens is so incomplete. Though we do have evidence of larger crocodiles from skulls. The largest of these is in the Paris Museum, though originally from Cambodia in the 1800s. The skull is 76 centimeters or 2.49 feet long. The estimated skull to body ratio is one to nine. So that would give us a rough total length of about 6.84 meters or 22.4 feet. So I don't think we should assume that we definitely have the absolute biggest saltwater crocodile skull ever, 
but considering how larger this is than the norm, I don't think we could go too much bigger than this, and I think that perhaps 23 feet is a good rough estimate for maximum length, and a crocodile that long would probably weigh somewhere around 2,000 kilos or 4,400 pounds. A survey from the Northern Territory of Australia on the management program for the saltwater crocodiles states the maximum length for males is 6 to 7 meters, so 20 to 23 feet. So is that the answer? 23 feet long and around 4,400 pounds? Well, I think it could be, but I'm sure the comments are common. The average male is 5'9", but Andre the Giant and Shaq are much taller. Crocodiles never stop growing. With enough time, they might get to 30 feet. Absence of evidence is an evidence of absence. They used to be 30 feet, but we hunted all the big ones. Okay, one by one, the average male salty, so males are typically bigger than females, is about 4.3 to 5 meters, so between 14 to 16 feet 5 inches in length. So 20 feet is very big, and 23 feet is very, very big. These are your Andre, Shock, and Wadlows. And what about crocodiles never stop growing? Reptiles are indeterminate growers, so they continue to grow after maturity, with growth occurring throughout the life of the animal. But an important point that people overlook is that the older the animal gets, the slower the growth rate becomes. And when you look at some charts, after a certain point in the animal's life, the growth rate is so slow you don't even see any increase. Which leads me to think perhaps after a point, the growth rate basically does kind of stop, or at least it decreases so much it might as well have stopped. Remember Cassius, the 5.48 meter or 18 footer? Well, that measurement was taken in 2011, but when he was caught in 1984, he was 5.3 meter or 17 foot 5 inches. So in 27 years, he grew about 7 inches. And what about from 2011 to 2023? Well, reports from 2023 still put him at 18 feet. I mean, maybe he did grow a bit, and he just hasn't been properly measured, but no one seems to think he is significantly bigger. Again, his growth rate is getting slower and slower as he ages. What about absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence? I used to love saying that. I thought it sounded so clever, but I don't know if it works in every context. I mean, I'll just say salties can grow up to 50 feet. I have zero evidence of this, but absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. There are of course other reports of 30 footers, but we have a tendency to overestimate. Like even with Lo Long, who was a little over 20 feet, before he was captured, people thought he might have been 30 feet long. And you see these pictures of him? Well, that's not him. This is actually a 16 footer from Australia Zoo. But let me ask you this. Did it look like a 20 footer when I said it was Lo Long? Just a little experiment to show how easy it is to overestimate or be primed into thinking a crocodile is bigger than it actually is. So anyway, when I hear about a crocodile that is... Mate, the biggest one I ever saw was about 28 feet. 28? Yeah, 29 feet maybe. And they say... I've seen it once and he saw it from about a kilometer away and they estimated the size. I'm very cautious. What about the idea that the big ones were hunted for trophies, robbing the gene pool of those extra big crocodile genes? Yeah, that does seem to be true actually. But the thing is, the mass hunting of crocodiles, at least in Australia, seemed to take place in the 40s, 50s and 60s, after the Second World War. Now, indigenous people would sometimes hunt them for meat, but not very often because it was pretty dangerous. And according to the Queensland Historical Atlas, during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, commercial hunters killed crocodiles, and this group of hunters were effective and caused a significant decline in crocodile numbers across Northern Australia. But the biggest crocodile skull we have is from the 1800s. So if the biggest modern crocodile we measured and recorded was about 20 feet, then maybe it's the 23 footers we lost. Though, don't call it a comeback, but the species has made a strong recovery in some areas. In India, in Bitar Kanika National Park, you will find the largest population of saltwater crocodiles in India, and it is estimated that 10% of the adults there exceed 6 meters, or 20 feet. Again, that's an estimate, but they might have a few 23 footers. Here be dragons.
Thank you to my patrons, thank you for watching, and hey, if you want some cool, no-nonsense shark content, allow me to recommend the channel Shark Toes. He cuts through and debunks a lot of shark misinformation, so definitely worth checking out. Once again, thank you, and have a great day.